This stream is brought to you once again by Diet Water. Hurricane Helena has moved on, but the damage has not to all of the displaced and out of power and low on resources to anyone who's been stuck away from home either briefly or long term, as one of my co-workers relatives was this morning. I wish you the best and encourage anyone who is able to donate to the rescue to the rescue and rebuilding efforts wherever they are able to do so. This message brought to you by Diet Water. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are time zone wise on this earth. This is Kentucky Hawkeye, KY Hawkeye, your host here on Hawkeye's Old Time Being Me Emporium. It's Monday night, which means Bon Bon's behind the counter half price. Bonnie's behind the counter with me as well as we get ready for our endeavor into another night of the House of Da Vinci 2. Pretty interesting developments last week when we played. Yeah, took apart a cabinet that Cesar Borgia brought into Da Vinci to have opened. Found out that he is taking credit for the intelligence of the people who are working for him by the nature of the letter that accompanied it. Not happy about that one. Yeah. <laughs> Intellectual property laws do not yet exist. Clearly. <laughs> and it ended with an interesting scenario. Now, apparently, in order to advance the game, we have to look at the, into Leonardo's study to see what exactly he's been working on for Borgia. And since our character is actually working for Borgia, it's like, is this stuff that he want that yeah. Borgia... Wants to know about? Definitely. Is it something that he needs to know? He probably thinks he does. I mean, he supposedly hired the construction of whatever it is, but we don't know what. Does Leonardo want him to know everything that's there in the secret workshop? Probably not. Probably not. Do we want to know what's in there? <laughs> I'm not sure at this point. Quite frankly, our character is canonically, according to his diary, questioning why Borgia put him here if Leonardo's already working for him. And that's now my question. If it's not to get Leonardo working for him, then what is the actual point here? My guess is that he doesn't work exclusi exclusively for Cesare Borgia. And that he maybe wants to get a hold of what he's making for other people. Or doing on his own, knowing how talented and intelligent Leonardo da Vinci is. Possible. But why does he need that if he already has a freaking time travel device? Good. How much further do you go with that? Good question. All questions we need to find out. So, without any further ado, since we used all the ado making dinner last night... And how did he even get the time travel orb? <laughs> Good question. And on that note, let's go ahead and get things started. I mean, the, obviously the answer is because the author says so, but... All right, I'm going to turn the music down a little bit here. There we go. Leave the sound effects as they are. I know what the answer is if I consert, consult with Doyle. I'd like Watson's explanation. <laughs> <laughs> All right, here we go. Let us enter in. Hey, Asilov, good to have you with me. Are you catching us right here at the beginning? Is that... Yeah. Okay, that's my yeah. chair. So quick. Okay. I moved it forward because I'm liable to lean into it. No problem. I just wanted to make sure that's what it was and not something else. As we get hey. ready to head into mm -hmm. the house, of, into Da Vinci's secret workshop. Now, the thing is, will we actually be able to get in? or is this, Maybe this is a test by Leonardo. Unfortunately, as the game is set up, we don't have a choice. Mm-hmm. Or so it appears, anyway. There's literally nothing else we can do. It's getting dark outside and my work is done. Inside the cabinet was hidden a beautiful clockwork mechanism. Even Leonardo himself had to appreciate the art and subtlety in which it was made. The cabinet itself gave me its own testimonial. The nobleman in question was indeed Cesare Borgia. The master is done for today, so I was left alone in the workshop. I'm considering how I should get through the locked door into the master's study and immediately feel regret even thinking about it. I feel like a thief preparing for some nefarious heist, but envisioning Borgia skulking around compels me to find out what Leonardo da Vinci is really working on. And that's where we begin tonight. Because, yeah. I mean, if there's the option to genuinely just leave, that'd be great. 
but it won't even let us turn towards the door out. No. Or, yeah, it won't let us. We don't have the option of saying no. no. We genuinely can't. All right, shall we check out, see if we can see, check out on the bench here, or will it let us check out anything? Don't, I mean, I don't see anything. This looks like it's either a war machine or a primitive drawbridge. Mm-hmm. I think they had drawbridges by that this time, and yeah. that rope makes me think this is the stable end and this is the moving part. Yeah, like maybe it's a different kind of drawbridge. Yeah, I don't quite know. All right, so our only way is this way. This looks like a clickable thing. Door is locked. With it being in the pass, is the door now unlocked? And since this is the past, everybody and everything is frozen. Yep, so we can see what's happening here. Okay, we don't have control over this. Not yet. Circular. We're working on something interesting. So this is the secret device. What yeah. is that? Got various prongs and antenna sticking up. Mm-hmm. And a sort of rope recording. Leonardo Otter probably knows best why he's keeping progress of the work on his device to himself and away from the Duke. The last thoughts of Borgia making a visit are not easy to dismiss. Either way, I will sketch the progress with all the details. Hey, Coldrick, at least we aren't still trapped in that one room with gears, Archimedes screws, hidden Ghibli's in the tomb, etc. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Iron Man's chest piece. It almost, yeah, kind of has the look of the, art of the, what was it, the arc? Arc reactor. Arc reactor. I was gonna say I was about to say arc welder, but I said, oh, that's what my dad used for doing things with. It's taking us right back out. Yeah. So we didn't get caught. Oh dear. All right, what's happening now? Borgia's here, isn't he? We'll see. Yep. Hey, Wandering Sam's good to have you here. Leonardo's bowling ball. Yeah, to be fair, we kind of knew this was coming, and actually the bowling ball belongs to this guy. Yeah. He's the right. one who snuck it to us. All right. I don't think we have a choice. No, we don't. Of course, will he be able to make sense of any of it? Took the sketch. Yep. How confident are you that he doesn't already? Actually, Cold Drake, it's probably both. <laughs> Hanging o blade hanging over both of our both our head and our throat. Hanging over our head is the one of guilt, and hanging over the throat is the one held by Cesare Borgia. Pulling pages from any book has a heritage. Yeah, yeah, especially given how pricey those books are. Yeah. 
And the orb is gone. There was a time when I wrote to you that events you cannot understand are in store for you, and this is one of them. I took the Oculus Perpetua back as I need it more than you do. Trust me that this is the best way to protect my endeavor. And even if you do not realize this fully yet, we are in this pursuit together. You need feel no remorse for what happened today. Know that everything is happening exactly as it should. Giacomo, a time when we will meet is coming. And you will finally understand that you're part of something great and important. Maintain your effort. You're doing excellent work. Grim. Hold up. Hold the freaking phone. Okay. We just met Borgia. Right. And this guy is talking like we've never met. The person who gave us the Oculus isn't Borgia. No. So literally nobody knows about this yet. We've got somebody pulling the puppet strings from behind the scenes. Uh-huh. Now the question is, is it Leonardo or is it somebody else? If it's somebody else, my first guess is our round one protagonist. Yeah. It's, uh, my guess is one or the other. It's, I wouldn't be surprised it's Leonardo behind the whole thing. I will make one argument against that. If this were Leonardo, we'd recognize his handwriting by now. Good point. I think it is the first... The, Game one, the game one antagonist. Double gangers mimics could be any of them. <laughs> time shenanigans. Time it's shenanigans, decidedly yeah. time shenanigans. The question mm -hmm. is on whose part. Time shenanigans. The doctor would be proud of. Okay. So we were mistaken when we said Borgia gave it to him. So he genuinely isn't smart enough yeah. to figure this out. I wasn't sure if it was Borgia or not, but it kind of felt that way. Okay, now we are going to where? Yeah, it was set up as Borgia claiming Forenzi. credit. Forenzi. That would be Florence. Can... Florence 1508. This is the time period of the first game, isn't it? Yeah, it is. Play chapter. Because that is the tower. Badia Florentina. Because that is the tower. That's the tower that blew up. Mm-hmm. Yep, Asiloth. Yep, the doctor would be proud of this. Dr. Da Vinci. <laughs> <laughs> well, Da Vinci Or Dr. Protagonist 1. Dr. D uh, Leonor Da Vinci does appear in one of the Tom Baker episodes of Doctor Who. So. Well, I'm not surprised. They hit Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they, actually display they actually played the scene of him taking Van Gogh to one of his own yeah. displays mm -hmm. in my one of my art history classes. Oh, really? Yeah. Interesting. Basically a summation of, yeah, this guy genuinely did not realize how big a deal he was going to be. Yeah. He was, this is a guy who struggled with mental illness his entire life, especially after he started painting because bad habit of lead paint and paintbrush and mouth. Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay, there's the there's boom. explosion. Oh, we are the protagonist. Okay. There's the red robes that we saw. Okay, so we are the protagonist. We're for the protagonist from the beginning. And this was us. So the protagonist was Giacomo. And the ending is... Okay. Okay. That's where we landed. We don't know where or when. No. Pulls okay. it off. Someone steals. Is that Cesare? Doesn't, doesn't look it's like missing that. the beard. But someone took it. But that's the sleeve that we had. Yeah, because... Okay. So the timeline as it currently stands is... The whole prison escapade thing happened first. We just went through the events of the first game. We are the same person throughout, and we have not actually jumped in time yet permanently. Okay, so that means... Whoever is arranging this is either us from even further in the future, mm -hmm. or somebody else. Yeah, I remember that episode, Coldrick, because he had he had Leonardo on all the different copies that some, that the master was making him make of the Mona Lisa to write fraud and make for, write forger paint forgery and and then paint the copies over it so everything would ever it would show everyone people could do x-rays in the future and see which one was the real and which one was the fake which okay. ones were the fake but anyway hey prax good to have you here yeah some sort of gauntlet of power all right okay so, so borgia and i just fell into a different time and what's he going to do with the glove okay so now we've fallen into a different time borgia stole our gloves so, so that they, was borgia yeah or someone working for him one or the other i thought that might have been borgia by the look of the face so 
Okay, so we know nothing about when we are mm -hmm. or what's going on. All right, handle. I wonder if Someone we need understands what's going on, but it's not us. Yeah. All right, so can we... Round handle, T-shaped hole. Yeah. But... That'll, that's going to move. That can move. Yeah, that's what it looks... That's what... Something's going on here, Coldrick. We've kind of... What, we're kind of in a back to the future kind of scenario. We don't know whether we land in the past or the future right now. Yeah. So that got us a disc. Okay, things moving around. The disc turns into a cog. cog. But that cog is not designed to fit into the thing. No. All right, anything that doesn't else? appear to move. This appears to be a door the same as this side, yeah. but I can't see how it opens. What is this? A handle. Handle that won't pull. All right, go back. Okay. Go, go back over here a second. There may be scratch marks, but will that move? It won't let us get close okay. enough. I just wanted to see. Okay. So the timeline is Leonardo at well, at some point obtains or creates the time travel glove that we just lost after the end of the first. Mm-hmm. That might be a prototype version of what ends up being the Oculus Orb that we had but no longer have access to. Right. So the orb was probably created later in the timeline. Could be. The glove moving here could be what kickstarts the creation of the better version. Yeah, it might be. Is it possible that Leonardo's device was the rudimentary that ended up becoming the glove that ended up becoming the orb? Very. That, wouldn't, that would not be off as far as... Uh... Logic, the logic is concerned. All right, is there anything else we can look at in here? Yes. Yes, here we go. But we have no idea where we are or when. All right. Does the cog fit in here? Because this won't. What about the handle? It's round. Okay, but apparently we didn't it look. Fits. We didn't look into it and see if it would. But this probably goes in here. All right. All right, puzzle solving time. No supernatural elements. Okay. So that turns them both in the same direction, but what's our goal? That's what I'm wondering. Oh. Oh, it's to shift these up. Mm-hmm. No, this way if I want to get that all the way up. That was wrong. Just to have this ready in case I need to pull. Yeah. Okay. Now, Since this is in a position where this wheel's not going to mess with anything going yeah, it on. Should be out of, it should be out of reach. So right now the top wheel is the only thing that could mess right. with the height of this opposing piece. Yeah. All right, now. Now what? Does this allow us... Okay, oh, you can go up further. Okay. But now this is out of the reach of the top piece. So how high up do we have to get them? I don't, that's what I'm trying to figure out. And what happens when we do? This drawer pulls out. Oh, so yeah, it's, yeah we need to keep moving them up so we can pull the drawer out. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so now that's out of reach from this one. We need to move this one in so order to... This way. It's not... So... Ah, fudge. So get that one all the way up. Okay, so that literally can't go any higher. No. Now we need to bring that one up all the way. There we go. There we are. Yeah. Crystal glove was cracked when it went down. Yeah, then it was so-and-so. It was broken, so it's not going to be usable. So, 
not usable yet. All right, there's our folding key that we can use to get the chest open. So Borgia can't use it until he finds a way to repair it, if he finds a way to And there's probably only it. one person smart enough to repair it. What's this? A figure of Leo. So we're looking for a particular shape. Mm-hmm. We can't stand anywhere else. All right, so we'll need to arrange the key to fit there. Not what I wanted. Let me look and on. There we go. Thank you. don't have these paired up correctly. Which two? Okay. These two can't be on the same side, otherwise these are on the same side. Yeah. So therefore, this one has to be at the bottom. Right. This guy has to be at uh, the top. Yeah. Alright. Or the other way around. There we go. Bop it, pull it, twist it. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> yeah, I don't... We didn't yeah. have one, but I saw them. Yeah, like the old song... It went. That's but, not. But when right. you click when it's up, then whoa, when it stood still. I never knew just what it was, but I guess I never will. Alright, so. Oh, turn. Okay. On. Turny, turny, turn, turn. That's why it never pulled. It was literally trapped. Yeah. Oh, and now we got another piece to play with. And why do we still have the key? But we must need it for something else. Otherwise, we still wouldn't have it. This doesn't appear... Hey, like... Ice Bunny, good to have you with us here. We're solving puzzles in Da Vinci Land. The first puzzle is, what the heck is the timeline? <laughs> okay. It's not the Da Vinci figure. This doesn't seem the right shape. I don't and this definitely isn't. It. Okay, can we go to... Can we click on... Can you get onto that thing? No. Okay. No. And we can't get deep in the chest either. What about on the lid? Is there a hidden panel on the top? No. Nowhere for it to hide. No. Okay. Hey, it was an idea. Yeah, just didn't work out. Let's see what does it look like. Does to me. Oh, yeah. Why are those knobs there, and why are these yeah, gaps Yeah, because we didn't need that otherwise. Nicely done. It, if there was nothing else going Look on, it would have just, just been a box. Found. Giacomo, before you came to Milan, I was visited by Cesare Borgia, by Cesare Borgia, accompanied by mysterious men. They brought ancient but incomplete plans for an extraordinary machine and wanted it, me to build it for them. My curiosity outweighed caution, and I accepted the commitment, including the promise of complete confidentiality. Captivated by the prospect, I started working right away, and the Duke came to check on me only from time to time. Soon I found the key to the immeasurable power of the miraculous device, and understood that no man can be allowed to hold that kind of power. In time, Borgia became ever more nervous, and his visits closer and closer together. He seemed forced by someone or something, fearful even, and I no longer felt safe in Milan. It is Da Vinci! Mm-hmm. Okay. So either he, we just didn't recognize his handwriting for some reason, or he disguised it. Yeah. All right. It Page says one of two. We found a new shelter in Florence. Alas, I couldn't just forget the machine. In Milan, I made only a small model, and now I wanted to see its full potential. I'm full of remorse, but at the time, nothing could stop me from building a time machine in the Tower of Body of Florentina. I had no idea what danger that put us into. It was then that Borgia appeared again in Florence, and he seemed desperate. Gone was his majesty and noble bearing, but he was no less dangerous for it. His obstinate is obsession with the time machine escalated, and I was slowly getting backed into a corner. To make matters worse, that wasn't all. The device caught the interest of a secret and mysterious society. Giacomo, you're part of the story. Which part? You will piece together on the first floor. I give you back the Oculus Perpetua, improved with a new function, but you will surely find out what that is on your own. Okay, cool, Drake. This right now, this is happening at, right. At, we're back at the point where we ended the first arc. 
House of Da Vinci won. Yeah. So the timeline is as follows. Giacomo is in prison. He gets rescued from prison by the efforts of two people, partly by Borgia arranging the opportunity for him to get out of his cell, and then secondly by what it turns out to be Leonardo leaving us the Oculus Perpetua orb in that sewer system to make sure we knew how to use it, and possibly for other reasons. Largely just not disturb the timeline things. Mm -hmm. We became his apprentice. We continued the game up to the point where we gave Borgia the sketch for the early version of the time machine as down payment on what we were supposed to do for him. Right. After this point, we moved to Florence. The work continued on the time machine. Leonardo made a working model in the Badia Florentina. And a secret society and Borgia both started hounding him. Cue the events of the first game end the events of the first game. We've jumped into a time machine. We don't know where we are. We don't know when we are. We don't know what's going on. And Leonardo is promising us that he will explain things. And that's where we currently are right now. Now, I don't know who, who if the secret society is like Templars or some other secret group from back then. I don't know. If, we don't know if Borgia's a part of it. I'm sounds almost, like he's scared of it. Yeah, sounds like he's trying to stay one step ahead of them. It sounds like he is, at best, they're on the same level and trying to avoid their attention while gaining all the benefits of knowing this stuff, and at worst, he's their pawn. Yeah, he's their go-between, he's trying to get the power for himself and not necessarily give it to them, knowing how Borgia would do things. And correct me, Prax, if my, if my interpretation of Cesare Borgia is wrong or not. <laughs> you would be the expert here on that. All right, ad yeah. break in process, unfortunately, everyone. Yeah. The price of doing business here on Twitch. Yeah. Quite frankly, Ice Bunny, Cole, Drake, both of those theories have some historic, vali historic validity. We don't know if it was because he was left-handed. We don't know if it was because he was trying to disguise his notes. Could be some other reason. Historically, we just don't know. Probably a little bit of both, or may he may have just been trying to be clever. Yeah. We don't know. Yeah. We just way, don't know. Hmm. Either way... That's the kind of detail that gets lost to history. Yeah. yeah. I'll tell you Leonardo one thing... Leonardo explains like he leaves breadcrumbs and puzzles and traps. Well, quite frankly, yeah, because who wants this information out to anybody yeah. who doesn't have I will say one thing, though. There is one flaw that they have in all of this. Namely? In, in this note. Leonardo was left-handed. The slant of the text is that of one who is right-handed. I have a brother who's mm -hmm. left-handed, so I know these things. <laughs> I mean, I don't think we know for certain whether he was left or right-handed. I could be wrong. Yeah, no, I think he. I, I yeah. think he was a left-handed. Because I know that's a common theory posed to explain the mirror writing. Yeah. Yeah. All right, seven, six. Okay, time. Ed break is almost over. Two, one. All right. Let's apologize again for those just coming back after the ad break. Unfortunately, that's the cost of doing business here in Twitch land. Yeah. So let's take a look and see what we have found once again. I believe the game said this was 1508 for right now. Yeah, yeah. it said that, and mm -hmm. then we dove through a time gate. Yeah. So possibly. We're, I think, yeah, I think 1503 or 1508 is what it said when we yeah, it went said, to this scene. So Yeah. So whether that's the time for yeah. when the last game took place or where we ended up after falling into the time gate, yeah. we're not sure yet. We don't we'll really know. We'll find out soon enough, but let's go ahead and get, get our toy back here. We're at 1508. Okay. Okay, we got something here. Another gateway into the past. Yeah. It said there's a new function. But that we discover what it was on our own. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this was back when everything was intact before it right, blew up. before the blow-up. Is it going to show us that blow-up? Seems I went back into the, back to the past just after I jumped into the time machine. Yeah, yeah. Remember those things? I remember those. But this is gone. Yeah. Somebody took it. Or it went through the time portal with us. Mm -hmm. Alright, what do we got here? Some of uh, different holders. This is the only one we can look closely at. Oh. And it turned. We got some 
stuff down here as well. Looks like those are sort of designed to slide, but this... Okay, why is it letting us go back to that handle? There we go. Because we have to click it and not drag yeah. it. Alright. So we've got a metal loop with a hook on it. We've still got the Leonardo figure that we uh, don't know. And we still have the... Funky key. key. Alright, let's go back up here real quick. Yeah, does the key fit into Will the slot? Will that slot go into there? Yeah. There we go. Does the hidden door? It oh, we get a slot right there. Up there. It is a hidden door. This is one of the mechanisms I should look at through the improved Oculus Perpetua. Ah, the mechanics feature. Yep. All right. Uh, no, I don't want to go back through that gate. Okay. Looks like it's time to make gears mesh. Mm-hmm. Oh, but this is our target gear. Yeah, we got to get over to there and then bring that over. There we go. Elevators. And look who we have here. People taking it apart. That looks a lot like mm -hmm. the, the, mo the small model. The small model. And he sees us. How is he still moving? Good question. How does this... Because he's probably the one with the... He's got the glove. He's got the glove. This just got bonkers risky. Alrighty. The mysterious figures got to the gate in the end, but how is it possible that one of them noticed me in the past? Good question. Passing the mouse off to Dad. Alright. Okay, so that's why we still got the key. Okay. So we need a candelabra shape. Before I do anything else, I want to take a look at all of these. It's not taking us to those. Yeah, but I do note that the symbol was missing on the center of one of those gates. Keep going. There. Black square. Yeah. I saw that too. Alright, so. Let's take a look at this. Looks like it's something we're going to be placing things on. Uh, room for anybody? Yeah, that's exactly what I was thinking. Wait, keep going one more. Yeah, all right. There's a little yellow tab. The symbols, the three petal, two petal things. Oh, yeah, there we go. Oh. We don't know how to lock them in place yet, but clearly we're supposed to, somehow. Alright, hang on. Okay. We would need a means to lock one of them in place right. to turn them against the other. So I don't. I think we're missing. I don't something. think we can do that yet, because all the other ones are four pedals and four pedals. Yeah. All right. So that's patience when... hint system. We're trying to observe. All right, so we don't have that anywhere else. Hello, I think we have that. Leonardo made himself the key. Yeah. All right. Here's our first little toy to play with. Another one. 1495. In Florence, I found myself between a rock and a hard place. Did I give the machine to Borgia or the Secret Society? Okay, they're different groups. We know for sure now. I chose neither, but I needed a plan. There was only one way to get out of the mess. To go through the time machine into the past and prevent it from ever being built. 
The drawback of the device was its instability, as it could only be used twice in succession. That was a good thing. I could go through the gate and leave it inoperable for whoever would lay his hands on it. And that is how I first overcame the barrier of time and returned 11 years into the past, to the year 1495. That's where we were, that's when we were held imprisoned. Yeah. All right, what have we here? It appears some kind of tourney device because it gave you a hand. Okay. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, we can't line them all up unless we have a way to swap cubes. Yeah. Like so. Yeah, that'll do it, because the tetrahedron and the octahedron need to be opposite from each other. Oh, hang on. Take another quarter turn. Now hit the button. Which two does it swap? It Always, always swaps the two, two on those ends. And now we actually have it in the right arrangement. Bing. Oh, hang on. Yep. Oh, yeah, because I was getting those two mixed up. Okay. Yeah. For some reason, I was getting the two images mixed up. <gasps> it's us. Holding the ball. Holding Leo's bowling ball. So this is the explain what the heck you just saw mechanism. Mm-hmm. He knew. All right, next message. The Oculus Perpetua was conceived as a side project of my research into the ancient, incomplete, yet incredibly advanced plans. How was Borgia able to get his hands on it? What was the role of the secret society? If I knew the answers to those questions, I could prevent the time machine from ever existing. After I arrived in the year 1495, I needed to hide my presence even from myself, but I had a plan. After your escape from the prison, I gave you the Oculus Perpetua, which you used to acquire the sketch of the finished time machine. Borgia took it, and I could find out how he would react. He set us up to give it to so him. So he wanted us to... I had a fe... I had a feeling. Okay. So now I can feel a little better about the game forcing us to betray his trust. A future version of him knew what was All going right, on. It's not taking us to this yet. It's taking us to the back end. There we go. Oh, boy. Um, what... What? Okay, Is this what a we... slide puzzle? Okay. Can we slide around individual components? Okay. Okay, so the green pieces are fixed. Yeah, the green pieces are fixed. Blue pieces are not. Do we have to get them to connect? I like think that? so. Um... Okay, I'm starting with what we know has to happen. Okay, the piece that, okay, top left corner, the one with the J on top. This one. You see the piece on the, let's see. I'm just gonna point to it. J, E, J, E. That is the only piece that can go there. Therefore, it must go there. Okay. Now we're looking for a D and an I. Right here. Okay. Those corners are going to be the key to this because they give us the most constraints. J I. J I. J Top row. There it is. I'm going to keep scanning to make sure there's not another one. That's I do fine. not see another one. Will it not let you place it there? Not letting me place it there. Okay. Okay. Opposite the first piece we placed, K and C. C at oh, the bottom, here. K okay. on the side. I see that one. Are there any others? I don't think I see any. Don't see any. Okay. Okay, I... Top left corner. Or top right corner, sorry. The one your mouse is on right now. Yeah. But we're going to need to clear some things out of the way in order okay. to get it there. So we got to do 
this. Okay, so we need an HG to fill in the isolated space. Right. HG. HG. Right here. Nope. Wrong positions. H on top. Right there. Here. All right, so let's get these. I really hope we're evaluating this puzzle correctly. Because yeah. <laughs> if not, this is going right. to be... JB. JB, 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 JB. There. Right there. EG. EG. There. Followed by HC. HCG. The other one in that corner. I mean... All right. Okay, technically we didn't know the GBH go went there, but right. I think it does. Uh, what I am doing right now is I'm separating these out to make them easier to see. There's method in my madness. Yeah. Okay. Now, all right, where do we want to build from here or here? To go from there, all we have is that there's an A on the bottom. Okay, so there are multiple A's on the bottom. All right. So However, I, I notice that look at the outside edges of everything we've placed. That's where all the dots are going. Yeah, the dots go on the outside. Which means A, F in the center of the has bottom chunk here. has to be the one that goes there. You're right, because the dots are on all the outside. So. Yeah, I noticed that as I was starting to say it. F, H would be this one here because it which, needs the dot. Which means you need an F, A, which is right next to where it was. Right. All right, do we have, we got some bottom dots down here, so let's get them. Okay, we need J, I, okay. We need that one there. And the one that was next to it goes on the other side. No, not that one. Down, two over, there. That one, down, and right. Yep. There we go. Just too much acceleration. Yeah. We had it earlier, but we All needed right, one there. All right, we need there. L and B with a bottom dot. All right, I'm moving this yeah, one move up here so we don't yeah. get it isolated. Yeah, let's move both of the top dots up. And bad, we know where bad goes. It has to go there. We can place FDL one down because there are no dots. It has to be right. center. Okay, this has to go here. That means this is the only one left to go here. That has to go here. That has Yay! to go there. Yay! Hey, the last it's supper. the Last Supper, which is what he was painting when we solved his puzzle. Is this the Sistine Chapel? No, that is Michelangelo. Oh, that's right. All right, what do we got here? Brass A collapsible, collapsible frame. Brass frame. On we go, and this is going to take us to Milan. And that's the tower. Mm-hmm. All right. Maybe you are wondering why I haven't told you sooner, my friend. I knew that you came to me from Castello Estenge, and I was worried that you were sent either by Borgia or the Sacred Society. In the beginning, I did not trust you. Don't Fair. Do not forget that, that at the time, I did not know what I know now. As time went by, I found you an excellent assistant and a friend. Later in Florence. I wanted to tell you everything, but there was an unexpected turn of events. A half mad Borgia appeared in Florence, as well as people from the Weird Society, and I needed to put my plan into motion sooner than I expected. So he came to trust us as a person, even though he knew there was a risk. Yeah. All right. So, what do we have here. I'm betting that's where the frame goes once we extend it. All right. I want to take a look at this. A wheel with small frames. So here he is, genuinely hoping that he made his tr made a good choice with his trust. Mm -hmm. Is he zoetroping? Is he making an early zoetrope way too early? Hmm? 
That's film. Oh, it is, isn't it? It's film. Freaking Leonardo. <laughs> Press object. Okay, actually, now that I think about it, the idea of projections would be historically accurate for this because this is how they figured out artistic perspective. By which I mean things like one point, two point, three point perspective, although they weren't a three point perspective yet. They figured this out by literally putting up a frame and putting something mostly translucent over it and putting in dots and it's like, oh, we're noticing patterns with this. This is how they figured out conversion points. So projections would be historically limbs. accurate. The idea of spinning some film in front of it, Starship that's a bit tool. early. <laughs> but of course, it's Leonardo. He has time travel. <laughs> All right. Figuring yeah. out film. Let's take a look at the stuff we got here. We have ourselves a brass handle, uh, handle object. It's not quite triangular with this. We have a dirty lens. We need to clean it. And we have this star shaped figure. What's the other end? What's the underside look like? Okay. I think I know where that goes. And it's way back. It was also green and a turn. That part of. <laughs> That part of our thing. Nice one, Ice Bunny. Nice one. <laughs> you remember the chest at the beginning? Yeah. The one divot that we didn't know what went in? Uh-huh. I'll bet that's what goes in there. Be, but I don't think we're done here yet. I don't yet. know if we can get, get to it. I don't think we're done here yet, though. Yeah. All right. I want to... Okay. We don't have what we need for there. What? Hang on. All right, I'm going to start looking at these doors here. Yeah. All right, we so need we need a candelabra. A candelabra kind of look. Mhm. Mm Except there's nothing coming up in the center with that arrangement. Swing that 90 degrees. Other 90. Yeah. That's it. Bingo. All right, let's see what's in here. Pull you down, pull you down. We have stairs. Is this our way to get back to the chest? I think so. Let's find out. If it is. Leonardo, who did you pay to construct all of this? <laughs> How did you keep them from not seeing anything? <laughs> it is indeed. We knew that was a door. <laughs> yeah, we just couldn't get to it. A metal, metal handle. I mean, it looks like it could, but I don't think it's gonna unfold okay. into anything. Yeah, I figured it was worth a shot to see. And I don't think that's going to do anything. So. We need a cleaning cloth and some dish soap for that lens. <laughs> Anyone got any Windex? <laughs> Spider, can we borrow some of your silk? <laughs> and a loom. <laughs> Turn. We can't back out. Yeah. All right. Head back upstairs. See if this anything we have now attaches to anything. Real quick. What are you trying to look at? Get over here. That's 
I think you're gonna have to visit. you're gonna have to back out in order to try. Yeah. Nope. It's not letting us scan. Go to the other key cabinet. Yeah. So let's go ahead and gather up all of our tools here. All right. So we need the handles. So we basically need to flip the candelabra facing down with nothing sticking up. I think that has to be the arm. Okay, that has to be part of the base. Because there's no other way it can fit the shape. Like so? Yep. Okay. Does our frame fit in there? Wait a minute, what happened to that thing that we just got? What, the round bronze thing? Oh, there it is, right there, never mind. Yeah. Never mind. Yeah. So either we don't have what it needs or we don't have what it needs yet. All right. Come back over here. We can try loading the lens in. Oh, there we go. Or we can put in a handle. Da Vinci is beating Edison to the movie camera. <laughs> yep. <laughs> of course he is. <laughs> All right, now. Needs a focusing lens. The one we have is dirty. I think yeah. it goes into the frame above. Okay. But because it's dirty. It's not doing a very good job of doing it. Yeah. We gotta find something to clean it with. We don't have anything to clean it with. All right. So our current questions are, what does the frame do? How do we clean the lens? What goes into that thing on the wall that we can't get to right now? And how do we turn the whatever? Does our funky device have to do with turning the thing on the side of the table? Good question. I mean, I feel like no, but it's worth asking. No. All right. Time for us. Okay. Well, we, we got some. I mean, what is that? It's just a shape. 2031? What? I'm gonna start writing things down. Five, seven. So basically, oh, and? Eight one two seven. It was making notebook noises, but I'm still writing it down. Yeah, that's fine. All right, so. There's a black mark at the top of the tower. Oh, there is, isn't there? From what angle are we supposed to look at it? Uh, oops, wrong button. Three. Three. Can we look closer at the top of the tower? 
No, it just brings us no, to that. It won't let bring us there. All right, so we go downstairs. Is there any when else we're supposed to be looking at this? Because there's no portals up here. Like adventure, we may be go. We may or may not go up. All right. Head back downstairs real quick. Okay, so there's no time foolery down here. Okay, that just brought us back to there. How do we clean the dipped lens? Yeah, we gotta clean that lens off somehow. This might be the time for hinting. Yeah, I want to go back downstairs real quick. Because we've done everything with that chest that's doable. Yeah. Just looking for any... Just looking for any possible else that may have been missed. Okay, that will take us back upstairs. All right, we're going to have to hit the hidden button. Yeah. Oh, got to fix something here. There we go. All right, our first hit button of the night. Around the side. Okay, so we're supposed to be looking at those things. Yeah. All right, so... Well, let's look at them and see if there's anything we can do. All right. Let's close okay. the Oculus. It's not helping us yeah. right now. All right. Are we certain that metal frame doesn't have... Okay, so we've got bits and pieces that are cut off in the ornamentation. It doesn't come off. Well, or maybe we should pull up the Oculus here. Does it give us any insight? No. Nope, None. We're just seeing the dots from above. All right. There's nothing to mess with here that's letting us do it. It's like something's supposed to go. Is supposed to set in here because you got the ridges here. The cut out there. I think the two are supposed to turn away from each other so the center can come out, but they're not in tune with each other to allow that. Yeah. Hmm. I get what the game is asking us to do, but it's asking us to do something that it's set up to not allow. And that slider's doing jack squat. All right. On one side of the table are two five-pointed ornaments blocking a small door. In the middle of them is a metal slider. Yeah. We know this much. All right. Don't tell us the totally obvious, just the merely obvious. <laughs> Any moving pieces on What? Hmm? Okay, I thought I I thought it glitched into a different position for a minute. A way to hold them in place. We don't have one. No. We have nothing. Yeah. What? There we go. There we go. It didn't seem obvious. 
So use the sand. It's a sander. Yeah, it's going to clean the lens off. There's our Windex. Yep. Okay. I guess we were turning it too much. We weren't noticing what the slider was actually yeah. doing. Mm -hmm. All right. Morphing polyhedra. I'm betting the film is giving us an order. Possibly, yeah. Okay. I was just looking to see if it was just... Okay, so let's... Okay. Dodecahedron, spike ball, icosahedron, octahedron, dodecahedron, spike ball, All icosahedron. Right. So who's first? Dodecahedron, pentagons, spike ball. Spike ball? Yep. Icosahedron, the tw D20. Yeah. Octahedron, D8. Keep going. There it is. Do we need to start at a different place then? Ten. Spike ball. Icosahedron. Octahedron. That is the correct order, but perhaps not the correct starting point. So it was the D10. Like ball D twenty D eight in that rotation. Okay. So there are four starting points. Since there were four involved. So if it doesn't start at the dodecahedron, there are three other options to try depending on where All it right, starts. So which so let's start let's go in order. Spike ball. We already tried starting at the D ten. Okay. So spike ball D twenty. Icosahedron. Octahedron, which is right next to it. Dodecahedron, D10, or D12. D12. Yeah, D12. Okay, that's not the right starting point. So icosahedron, octahedron, dodecahedron, spike ball. Okay, then octahedron. This is the last combination, if that's where we're supposed to get the order from. Dodecahedron. Right? No. That's an icosahedron. Spike ball. And the spike. And now the icosahedron. There we go. It was a matter of finding the right starting point. Yeah, you had to find the right starting point. All right. us back to the center where Leonardo was and then we go down the time portal mm -hmm. now to 1508 thus I went to the year 1495 but you ended up in the year 1508 you're asking how that's possible the key element in the calibration process of the time machine is the special glove which you equipped when you went through the gate without it the gate is almost useless I built it into an important and irreplaceable component as a sort of safety precaution against anyone misusing the gate. My glove was damaged during the journey. Luckily, we still have the one you used as we will need it. No, we don't! Exit the tower as soon as you can. Outside awaits the last fragment of the story and a little surprise. We don't have that glove anymore. It's broken. Yeah, all right. And I know where that goes. Oh. Get to do some pieces part yeah. stuff here. We don't have it. It's broken, and it's in Borgia's hands. Yep. Sorry, well, the Leonardo. Good, the bad news is it's in Borgia's hands. The, the good, good news, news is, is it's broken, it's and broken. he can't use it. Mm. But it looked like Borgia was trying to see where the secret society was taking everything. Yeah. That plugs into the thing in the wall, doesn't yeah. it? Most likely. Fortunately, I've got all the numbers, so... All right, so... Okay. Well, there are four sets of numbers, so I'm going to start with the one after the double arrow. Right. 
I'm assuming that's where we're supposed to start. Zero, five, zero, seven. Zero, five, zero, seven? Correct. Okay, I don't know what that's supposed to be. Okay. One, zero, one, five. One, zero, one, five. Okay. I feel like we're missing something, but we're going to keep going, I yeah. guess. Two. Two. Zero. Three. One. It's not giving us any kind of confirmation, so I feel like we're doing something wrong, but who knows yeah. what. Then it was the image of the canister, and then eight, one. Eight, one. Two, seven. Two, seven. Okay. Then I don't know exactly what this is getting at. All right, that's not showing us anything. So let's back out. This is... I can't tell that this has done anything. Okay, that's the same shape as that. Yeah. It's only part way in. All right, can I try? A, can we try a strange theory? Sure. Let's start with this one and work our way around. I feel like it should be giving us some kind of confirmation if we're in the right place. Yeah. Because that's the next one after it. Eight one two seven. Right. There should be a way to, like, submit an answer, but yeah. there isn't. Good point. It's not giving us a way to confirm or check our work. It's not automatically triggering anything, so yeah. we are missing something in how this is meant to function. That's why I was kind of looking around on here to try to see if there's any other active pieces on here. Trying to think if there's anything else going on, but I don't see it. And why is there a three on top of a church? Because none of the numbers we put in did anything. Three had to be there for a reason. Oh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Is there a pattern to these numbers? There's no single digit that appears in all of them. 507. Double it would be 1014, and this is 1015. 1015 double it would be 2030, and they've added one. Double that again would be 460, which four would be 461. Six, four Double it again two. would be 826. So each time they double it and add one. Yeah. 
So the next one should be 4,063. 4, That's the answer. Oh, hang on. Before we do anything else, everyone, we got to introduce someone to a thing that I hate to use, but it's going to be operated by Virgil here in the next in the near future. We're going to get out the band spatula here. Bye bye. All right. So so our number should be 4063. Correct. If my th why. if my theory is correct. It fits. Yes. And now we go up. That was a good challenge. <laughs> yeah. All right, mouse is back in your hands. Okay. The note-taking responsibility goes to you. All right. You might need a new page. <laughs> okay, so we're looking for something with a star-shaped sprocket to go in that lever position. We don't have much in the way of new places to go. Something there. Why is it letting us look at this? And let me guess what it has on the back side. It's our missing wall ornament. Yep. Now will you let us look at it? You're giving it they right will to now. us. will <laughs> <laughs> now. And the there's our gizmo. Let's go up. And up and up we go. Oh, the lever! Some sort of ballast? Nope, it's some something else. Is that supposed to be a parachute? I don't know. Maybe? Some sort of block and tackle? That us oh, that's us walking. It's a zip line. Yep. No. Kind of. It's Hooked a to a glider. Oh, and we lost the grip. And it's Assassin's Creed style. We land on the hay. Isn't that what we saw Leonardo do? And, or, or we saw somebody do it. Yeah. And we are back here. We didn't spend a lot of time in this garden no, we before. Didn't. We just passed through it. This isn't the same part of the garden, though. No. Really giving me room for vibes. Yep. We're looking for something with a small oh, end. To go into there. Okay, that wall thing is nothing. Got something here. Potted plant. That's a little too and, shiny. Yeah. So we're either supposed to get it or we're supposed to do something with it. Yeah. And what are you? Wing nut. A wing nut. I mean, you could use that to describe Leonardo with how many sketches he made of bird wings, but... <laughs> <laughs> That is a freaking huge wing Now, nut. will that go on to that thing? Based on how big it was when it came out, way too big. Okay. That is a funky looking face. Okay. Something goes in Something's there. Something's supposed to go in there. Anything about the pedestal? Yeah. We oh. can't. I'm guessing three panels, three sockets. Yeah. What do we have here? Let's be smart people and look at the base. Leonardo's always got something funky going on with the base. Yeah. Okay, we got some arrows there. Go back to that corner. Good spot. Oh, 
part of a mechanism. It's going to get something added to it. We're looking for that spear end, and I don't think the wing nut goes there. What do we got there? Dirt. Dirt, okay. These shell decorations look hinged. Yeah. But all of them are doing that, so I feel like it could yeah, be just could decoration. could be just rain residue. Hard to say. All right, now we look at the top. There's a cross. Mm -hmm. They don't have one. Take a look at the other things that hold that up. Nope. Okay. We got a mermaid, and we got a ton of gears, and we got part of a mechanism. All right, let's go back to that one thing and see if the wing nut goes onto it, just in case. But sometimes we've been fooled by size perspective. Nope, okay. What's down the sewer? Something. Something we can't get to. Some but there's a gear. Handle. Crank kind of thing. Looks like a hammer to me. That could be too. Maybe that's our handle to get into that. Oh, go back, go back. I thought I, I thought it gave us a, yeah, right there. Okay, it just brings us to there. Okay, it went hourglass, so I thought maybe it meant something else. Does the wing net go on here? No, it doesn't appear. Does anything move? No. Nope. No, it will, but not yet. Not yet. Okay. If all else fails, time to start time traveling. Um, okay. There's our view of things here. But we can't mess with this without the proper tools. Or maybe it's a case that we gotta get things more oh ah. we gotta get things more lined up. There we go. It's a turny turn. Yep, and now that'll turn and let us into there. And it'll let us pick up the big honkin' mallet. <laughs> yeah. Rusty handle. Now will that go into there? I feel like it's too big, but... I am wrong. And I'm okay with that. Okay, this definitely needs the oculus. Yeah, okay, we gotta know where, okay. Okay, so this is our mechanism for reordering things, is mm -hmm. these slots. Yeah. Oh. It won't let us put anything up there unless it's right. Yeah. So, my proposition, do that. <laughs> yeah, let's get the ones that are right so they're out of the... We have to put them in in a certain order. Ah. That's what the numbers are for. That's what the numbers are for. And once it's in, we can't move anything past it. There we go. Okay. So we're going to have to make use of that mechanism. Right. Somehow. Because I can get these two into position, but doing so blocks our mechanism for reordering everything else. So we're going to have to make use of the fact that this is cyclical, and I'm going to try right. to get these ends first. Yeah, makes sense. Bring that one up yeah. and then just rotate everything around. Yeah, that's what I'm going for. Okay. okay. I'm moving yeah. this out of the way now so that we can get this. Over. You down. No. There you go. Star has to go first. Yeah. Star has to go first. I 
and now I can there. rearrange these to my heart's content. Yeah. There we go. Everything is where it needs to go. Yep. Okay. You knew this was gonna open. Yeah. Okay, what do we gain by that? I'm not sure. We need to get in there, so. Alright. So we still have the thing over there to figure out. And we still have this thing to figure out. Yeah. Well, let us go to the trying the pyramid on top of it at all. No. Okay. No. Why is this upside down? Good question. Or are we just okay? Everything's upside down. We just can't tell because I and X look the same. Mm-hmm. All right, we gotta find where the wing nut goes. We gotta find the thing that goes with the. All right, so let's go go back to the other the, the statue thing. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. See if we see. Oh, we got another one. Go for it. All right, time to get out the band spatula here. I guess that must mean we're moving our way up in the world since we're starting to get these now. Oh, I mistyped. Rustic exclamation. There we go. All right. Get out. Mm. All right. The kind of views you're advertising are indeed cheap because they don't mean anything. Yeah. All right. I don't see where this is going. Can we do any kind of pirouetting around that stat around the statue pedestal? It won't let us go any further than this, and there's no details to okay. examine. Just wanted to make sure. And those things aren't pressable. They need something to go in. Can you turn that thing there? Don't see where this is going. Mm -mm. Anything else I there? Think that we're, I think we're done with this, though. We are. Yeah, we did that. Okay, go ahead. These are supposed to be combined. Maybe. Oh, I guess they do. And I'll bet this goes here. Because I thought the end looked like it, but... No. Maybe it goes to the well. What did it call it? The witch wheel? Winch. Winch wheels. Yeah, so we'll go over there somewhere. Don't see anywhere to put it. Just drag it and see what happens. Well, if it's over here. There we go. Stone ornaments. And that probably goes on the that pedestal. That probably goes on the pedestal. Yep, there's the spot. There's the little nib. Alrighty.
And there's the face for our statue. There's our mask. Pedestal. Lever. Good catch. Okay. Ornate capsule. Time to solve it or figure out how it opens. I don't see anywhere around here that it can go. Mm -hmm. I need also it for something. But I don't see any seams. Mm -mm. Hmm. Nothing particularly standing out about no. any one side. Don't see any slide marks on anything anywhere. Maybe, oh, I didn't catch that. That's what it was. I didn't look here after the mask. Yeah. All right, we can't see. All right. Okay, VI is six. So are there sixes? They probably, oh, no. Do they all have to add up? Possibly. Well. Time to work with the same logic we were on that squ on that square puzzle that we couldn't yeah. figure out. And this this is four. has to be four, right. which means it has to be one, 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 one. Right. This has to be five, which means how many ones are there on each ring? Okay. Yeah. There. there okay. Yeah. Okay. No. Okay. So. There you this go. has to be all ones, and this has to be all ones save one place. Well, that the would... ones on this ring are on opposite sides, which yeah. means... Well, you had the five right there earlier. Yeah, I'm just testing to make sure oh, that's okay. the only way it can, and okay. it is. Okay. The I... only other... I yeah. thought maybe you'd missed it. That's yeah. what I was making sure. I was testing because there were two options here. One of them doesn't add up, right. the other does, so we know this has okay. to be the case. Okay. So now it's a matter of what's going on with these upper rings okay, and how to make this 10. That's 9 instead of 10. So we need a 1 and a 1 and a 4, which doesn't, which isn't possible on this ring. So this ring is correct. Right. We would need a 1, a 1, and a 3, yeah. which Bingo. is possible. Good job. Start with your greatest number of constraints in these puzzles. That's yeah. how you make it through. Find the guaranteed, build that to the mostly guaranteed, and build that into a final answer. Mm -hmm. We have another message. Giacomo, after I arrived in the year 1495, it was risky to reveal my presence to any acquaintances. I could not be sure how you would react, Giacomo, or even how my younger self would react standing face to face with his double from the future. I could not endanger the plan this way. Alas, I needed a sanctuary and found it <coughs> in my old friend Luca Pacioli. Luca is a monk, scientist, and gifted mathematician I can trust without re reservation. In time, I will surely introduce you. Do you remember the Oculus per Perpetua disappearing from your room? It was shortly after the unpleasant visit by Cesare Borgia in the Porte Vicia. I needed to borrow the device so I could follow the Duke unseen and see what he intends to do with the sketch he ripped out of your notebook. And I found out very interesting things. When I confided in Luca, he was astounded. And then he told me something I cannot write in the slip. Something I will have to tell you face to face when we meet again. This is happening now, Giacomo. Look behind you. Leonardo? Made it. You have no idea how glad I am to see you, dear friend. Thirteen long years have passed before we finally meet again, Giacomo. <laughs> okay. Okay, so he's lived a double, literal double life in order to make this work. <laughs> you seem surprised. But if you look carefully at 
what I left you on the mechanical table up in the tower, you must already understand. Everything that happened, happened simply because it was part of my plan. Except for one element. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Actually, to tell the truth, the fact that Baldur came through the gate with you was unexpected. But even then, we gained a head start over those dangerous people. We now have to hurry to one more place where my plans will either culminate or completely collapse. I will tell you the details on the way. Giacomo, I need your help now more than ever before. But we cannot delay a moment longer. Time is not on our side. Especially when you're manipulating time. Oh, yeah. I think that's a good place to call it for the night. Yeah, okay, let's we'll let it load. And now we are going to... Run for it to Genova. Genova. Oh, nope. nope, to Torino. To Torino. Sacred de San Michel, Turin, 1508. And that is where we will resume next time, everyone. Oh, boy. <laughs> that had some interesting challenges in it, that is for sure. All right, this is definitely getting more and more interesting, and I think this is getting close to maybe going past the room. Goodness. It's definitely, definitely it has, a, its, definitely it has a better its... story, I think. Yeah. So I feel like this was always intended to have a tightly knit and, sent, and make sense story, because they clearly laid it out. Yeah. So, yeah, this was built with the intent of sequels. Yeah, this the room was, was not. Yeah, this was built with the intention of it being a multi-part game rather than just. Yeah. Now they it looks like they can each stand alone, but it was built with the intention of it being a multi-part. Probably just to make sure it wasn't too long, and that yeah. people would play it all the way through. You have a great week as well, Asaloth. So, speaking of weeks, the way the rest of our week is going to be is Wednesday will be. Baldur's Gate 3 as we continue our story, The Legend of Vendema Stain, our gold dragonborn paladin who's leading his party, who lost a party member, unfortunately, last week due to Asterion wanting more power than he probably should have, and he ended up having to, having to he ended up dying in the process. So, unfortunately, he, we no longer have him. We have Will in the party right now. We'll I think we're just going to alternate people out. So we can have what we need as we work on different on the different storylines and such. So that'll be happening on Wednesday, Saturday. Hopefully, you can catch us on catch me on Wandering DM's channel for Scion: Birth of the New Gods. Hopefully, we'll be able to finally get back together on there this coming Saturday at 1 p.m. Eastern. Adjust your time zones accordingly. And then Saturday night, 8 p.m. here on this channel will be. Uh, for Grappler's Keep, our next premium live event, it is the Melee, it is Melee Madness, our version of the Royal Rumble. 30 person matches, one for the ladies, one for the guys. It's an over the top battle royal. You start with two people in the ring. Every two minutes, another person is brought into the ring. The only way you're eliminated is by being thrown over the top rope and your feet hitting the ground. The winner of each of those two matches automatically gets a title shot for the Lady of Valor and the Master of Melee Championship belts at Dice Mania, our season-ending premium live event, which will be which will be about 12 weeks after that, as we'll have a premium live event in between. So, and it's anyone's match. We'll have all the wrestlers in Grapplers Keep. Everyone who's not a manager will be participating which is going to make it a lot of fun, and we'll see who gets that big title shot, and that'll be happening Saturday, and then next Monday, we'll see where Leonardo is taking us. I'm assuming the monastery where his friend is at. Yeah. But I'm learning right now not to assume anything with Leonardo da Vinci at this point. I mean, goodness, he's invented the film camera a good several centuries early. <laughs> Cur you're st cursing Morduk's name already. <laughs> the match hasn't even started yet, Wandering Silence. Yeah, boy. All right, so...
Anyway, speaking of wrestling and all of that, if you want to talk about any of the shows that we do on here, whether that be wrestling or Leonardo da Vinci puzzling or Baldur's Gating, we have different channels on our Discord available for that, so stop by, drop us a line. Let us know what you think about it. Let us know if you are very confused by Leonardo's plotting. Let us know if you are very interested in who wins the next wrestling match. We're available to talk. There's also a very special channel on there called The Prayer Closet, and that's its own thing. Here in this house, we believe in the power of prayer. We've seen it work frequently in our lives, in the lives of friends, in the lives of others in our church. So, if you want spiritual support for whatever you're going through, whether that be Hurricane Hel in Helena or anything else, let us know what's going on there, and we'll be praying for we'll be praying for you. Dad's got a on a page in his journal that he keeps track of, and all I drop by there every so often. This isn't just a thoughts and prayers and no nothing happens. We do look at that Discord and we do pray for the requests we see on there. Of course, not everything might be as much wanted in the public eye, so if you something's a little private and you don't want to bring it up for the entire internet, just use the praying hands emoji. That's what we call an unspoken prayer request. We don't need to know all the details. God already does. We can pray for, for you even if we don't know what's wrong, and he can still act through that. So if you would like that kind of spiritual support, please take advantage of that. We definitely want to encourage, encourage that because we've seen, we've seen how active it can be and we definitely want to help out everyone we can, especially in cases like that. So we're going to go raid Praxagora Thesmophoria. She's doing some Genshin Impact. So we're going to go raid her tonight, good friend of the good friend and good friend of the channel. So. Until next time, everyone, may green be the grass below you, may blue be the sky above you, may straight be the path before you, and warm be the hearts that love you. Good night, everybody. Good night. It is the best Twitch channel that is secretly an old-timey ice cream parlor on either side of the Mississippi, or the Rockies. And you should hear about the specials. Monday nights is Bonnie's Bonbons, cream extravaganza with all the float sodas and sundaes you can shake a stick at. Oh, uh, I can shake a stick at quite a lot of Sundays. But there is also a Fudge Roda Sunday special on Tuesdays and the famous 1-2-3 Parfait on Wednesdays where wrestlers meet up in the squared circle to work out their differences with some healthy wrestling-style fisticuffs. It is all good, clean fun. Hawkeye's Old Time Gaming Emporium. Their milkshakes bring all the gamers to the yard and their content is more exciting than any Nickelodeon. Take your horse and buggy to their address, twitch.tv forward slash KY Hawkeye. This has been a Diet Water production.